So what I'm going to do today is, is walk you through an example that uses the Shopify API. Shopify is a service that lets you build an online store. And they take care of all the hard stuff to make it really simple to build an online presence for selling your goods and interacting with customers and taking payments and all that stuff. So it's, a, it's an excellent way to get started um, uh, with your own uh, online storefront. What I want to do is use Shopify's API. Um, they've got a really cool API and a very robust developer community to um, query, um, to run a query and get a list of customers for my online store. And then I want to use that list of customers and send those that have valid mobile numbers a text message using the SMSify platform. So if you go to the Shopify um, website and you sign up as a partner, what you can do is you can set up your own um, demo store. This will let you um, build applications that you want to either sell in the Shopify um, uh, marketplace or if you want to build a, an application to work with your Shopify store, you can do that. So I've gone ahead and done that and you can see I've got a few customers here. Um, two of these customers have um, landlines and two of these customers have cell phones uh, or mobile numbers. So when I, when I run a query uh, in just a minute or two, you'll see um, uh, we won't be sending text messages to all of these customers. We'll need to build in some logic that will actually validate whether or not our customers have a, mobile, uh, a valid mobile number to send a text message to. So if you've set up your online storefront here, and you've got some uh, some sample customers to work with, you're going to want to um, get some credentials so that you can build an app to work with um, uh, your SMSified um, storefront. And you do that by going to this Manage Apps section here in your uh, administrative section for your, for your storefront. Now, if you click on this link here where it says, if you're a developer interested in creating a private application, clicking on that link will give you a set of credentials that you can use to build your application and test it using your, your online storefront. So I'm going to show you an application that's written in Node.js. And as I said before, it will query the um, Shopify API and get a list of customers. And what we're going to do with those customers is we're going to actually take a look at their um, uh, number that they have in their account. And we're going to need to do a little bit of validation to ensure that they've got a valid mobile number that we can send a text message to. For the purposes of this demonstration, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to look for an extension that's prefixed with an X. And if they have one of those, I'll assume it's a landline and I'll kick it and I won't send a text message to it. Otherwise, I'll format it for sending a text message with SMSify. Now for this script, I'm using the, um, the SMSify Node.js module, which you can install just using the um, standard Node Package Manager. And I'm going to post the um, code for this uh, on GitHub so that you can use it to get started with your own Shopify application. It's pretty simple, really. It's just a, an HTTP client that will um, make a request to the Shopify API passing in the credentials that are in our config file. And it will get a list of customers, and then it will parse the JSON that comes back from Shopify and get the phone number, validate it uh, using the method we just discussed, and simply use the SMSified Node.js module, which is really easy to use, and send each user a message. Now, we're going to actually pass that message in as one of our command line arguments. You don't have to do that. You can, you can set this up however you want. But for the purposes of this demonstration, what I wanted to do was um, just make it simple so that you could run through some tests and see how, how cool it is and how easy it is to use. Now, one of the nice things about SMSify is you can actually specify a notify URL. This is where this is a callback where uh, the SMSify platform will actually send the delivery information about your SMS uh, message to. Now, if you've watched some of our previous screencasts, you know that I'm a little bit partial to using CouchDB um, with my SMSify um, delivery notifications because SMSified will send a, a JSON payload uh, via HTTP post to uh, whatever URL endpoint you set as your notify URL. So this is a script that should look very familiar if you've seen our previous screencast. It's just a very simple Node.js script that uses the wonderful uh, Cradle Node.js module to connect to an instance of CouchDB that's running on my local machine. Uh, let's take a look at that. Um, CouchDB instance right now. You can see there's nothing in it yet. Uh, that's going to change shortly. So as I mentioned, what we want to do is we want to send um, uh, text messages to anybody in any of our customers that have a valid mobile number. And in this case, it will be two of them. And we're going to want to um, store the delivery information about those text messages in an instance of CouchDB. So let's do that. The first thing I need to do, since I'm running this on my local machine, I'm going to use a service called Tunneler that I've used in many previous screencasts. 
just to set up, just to expose my um, my local machine to the internet. Um, the other thing I need to do is I now need to um, oops, I need to start typing correctly. I need to um, invoke the um, the script that we just saw for um, storing delivery receipt. That's this is this. Um, Node.js script that's going to connect to CouchDB. That's all it's doing. It's just a simple HTTP server li listening on port 8000, and uh, any JSON payloads that it gets, it will simply stick into CouchDB. Okay, so now I need to invoke my um, Shopify script that will actually query my Shopify um, storefront uh, for a listing of customers, and then it will uh, validate those with a, a valid mobile number, and we'll send them a text message that we'll pass in when we invoke this script. So let's see how we might do that. Okay, this is my script. Now, anything I send in uh, this string after I invoked invoke this uh, node script will be sent via text message. So we'll say this. Uh, we'll say there is a big sale this weekend. Please. Obviously, you could use whatever message you want. Um, you want to put a link in here, maybe to your your online storefront, your online Shopify storefront. You could um, uh, shrink the size of that link using any of the URL shorteners out there, and simply send this out to uh, everyone's uh, smartphone. So let's invoke this and see what happens. Okay, in my node or in my um, uh, Node.js script, all I'm doing is just dumping. You can see, you can hear in the background there. I've got one of my messages already. I'm just dumping out the response I get from uh, SMS if I just the console. But I should be able to look in my Node.js script. Here's my uh, results script that's actually saving everything in CouchDB. And you can see I've got a couple of document IDs here. So that looks good. Let's go over to our CouchDB instance and refresh. Mm -hmm. You can see I've got uh, two text messages now. So here's the delivery record for each one of those. Um, you can see the status code of zero means that it was successfully delivered to the carrier network by SMSified, and this is the message we just sent. So one of the numbers that I used in my one of my test customers was my Google Google Voice number. So let's see if I have a message here. Ah, and there I do. So there's my text message. There's a big sale this weekend. Please visit our storefront. So there you have it. Um, if you're looking to start an online um, uh, storefront, Shopify is is um, is really the way to go. They do. Uh, all of the hard stuff for you, and they've got this incredibly useful API and a really active developer community too. That, by the way, has developed a um, a huge marketplace of of, of third-party apps that you can use in your storefront. But they also let you build your own application. So when you pair that up with with a platform that's as um, easy to use and powerful as SMSified, it gives you a lot of options in how you can interact with your customer um, and sell your products.